Hello everybody, how's it going? Motor Motion, back again. Uh, I'd just like to say, thank you everybody who sent in your questions for the uh, Q&A the other day. I um, really appreciate it all. And uh, since then, I've uh, hit 120 subs. In the, <laughs> it took me ages to hit 100, I hit 120 in like the next day or two. So, gone well. I've um, just left my mate Jake's house. Um, just been on ad, a nice new chain of rocket set put on the dragster. Not dragster, what am I talking about? <laughs> uh, on the WR, uh, the other one, the chain was getting a bit tired, winter hadn't been very kind to it, it had gone very fucking stiff and it was starting to get quite jerky and snagging and now I thought it's probably time to change it, uh, so I put, uh, bought a new heavy duty chain and I bought some different gear ratio sprockets this time round because uh, in a few months time I've got a big long distance ride to go on and I wanted a little bit extra top speed for when I go on the ride so yeah I've gone back to the standard gear ratio this time whereas before I'd I'd changed it to get myself a little bit more acceleration. I mean, so I've lost that extra little bit of acceleration, but when I've lost the acceleration, I've gained back in top speed, which will be helpful on them big A roads, considering I'm going to be on them for 130 miles. So, yeah, but, oh, it feels so smooth. So the gears now it's got a new chain on. Uh, I think that's half the reason I was having gearbox troubles before. I think the chain was just dead. The winter had killed it, all the salt and shit off the roads. So that's that all sorted. You probably noticed as well. I've got the stupid great big fucking Mickey Mouse ears back on. That's because tomorrow. I've got to go in for my CBT again. Bloody joy of joys. I hate the CBTs. So pointless. Been riding a bike six years. I'm arguably going to have for fucking forgotten how to ride, am I? Jesus fucking Christ, mate. Some patience. Yeah. So, got to go and do my CBT tomorrow, not looking forward to that, going sitting in the fucking rain and the wind all day, shit that was a copper, uh, yeah, so that should be fun, but on the plus side, as soon as that's done, I can then get my theory booked. Uh, which means I can then get my practical books once that's done. Get me full license. Yay! No more loose plates. We um yeah, get me CBT done. That's that sorted for another well forever, hopefully. No more license. No more fucking CBT to worry about. But um. Yeah, joy of joys. Um, it also means once I've got that CBT done and dusted and out the way with, <laughs> I can get my tracks to insure it then. Because the insurance company are refusing to insure the bike because I've only got a couple of weeks left on my CBT. Bastards. It's f fucking good, isn't it? They're happy enough to take the fucking money off your hands, but 
Swipe this little thing and that's it. Soon fucking snatch the money out of me hand as soon as I get that fucking CBT though, wouldn't they, they're the bastards? Uh, grumble, grumble, grumble. Fucking roads are horrible tonight. I definitely seem to have lost a bit of fucking poke in it since changing the gear in. It's going to take a little bit of getting used to. But, uh, it's one of those things I suppose. Can't know it all. Oh Christ, I'm cold. Oh. Oh. At least I've got my 80 grips working again though. The fucking things packed in the other day. Basically what it was, it was my own fault. Um, my HID kit decided it wanted to up and combust and catch fire. So I had to rip the HID kit out and uh, go back to using a standard bulb. And uh, I went down to the motorspare store and got a bulb and put the bulb in uh, and there headlight all sorted for ah sweet palm salt and I realised uh, the bulb was quite bright and I, I, I didn't really take no notice of it I thought I would, obviously I haven't seen the standard bulb in that long I just didn't realise what it looked like and um, put uh, went out for a ride on it noticed Hmm. Hit your grips aren't working. Thought nothing of it. Uh, got home. Come out to the bike the next morning. Engine won't start. So I bump started the bike. Got it going. Put some charge in the battery. I took the headlight unit off. And there was a fucking 60 watt bulb in there. So obviously the bulb was draining so much power, it was draining the battery and it was draining all the power from the grips. So I'm about to go and get another bulb for it and put a, a lower wattage bulb in so I can use meaty grips again. But thankfully that's sorted because we're sitting outside all day on a CBT with no meaty grips, not wearing motocross grips anyway. Anyway guys, that's me home. I shall catch you later. Goodbye.